Hello and welcome to week four of your Skinny Fiber 90 Day Challenge and congratulations for making it to this point. You know, three weeks doesn't sound like a lot when you've got a full 90 days to achieve your challenge, but three weeks is huge. It is a huge stepping stone when trying to accomplish anything. They say it takes 21 days to change a habit, to create a new habit, to get rid of an old habit, whatever it may be. You guys are now three weeks in. If you've been taking your skinny fiber every day, twice a day, you've already created that new habit. You've already shown yourself that you can do it because they say if you can do something for 21 days, you can do it forever. So again, congratulations on making it to this point. A lot of you guys have already started losing weight. I see the leaderboard moving. A lot of you guys have not started losing weight yet and that is totally fine and it's totally expected. The way skinny fiber works is it works from the inside out. It has to get your body healthy enough before the fat can start coming off. For a lot of people, it takes three, four, five, maybe even six or seven weeks before your body is healthy enough before that weight starts to come off. Once it starts coming off though, as many of you have already noticed, it's gonna continue coming off, it's gonna get easier and easier and easier, and the great thing about this product is you can continue taking it long after your 90 day challenge. So, that said, we've given you some extra little challenges over the last three weeks. The first one was simply to take your product every day, get consistent with it. The second one was trying to eliminate sugar, get some sugar out of your diet every day. It's gonna eliminate a lot of the fat and a lot of the new fat formation. Last week we talked about walking, try to walk a mile a day. It's gonna do incredible things for your overall health. This week's challenge is a little bit harder, but very realistically, of all the challenges I'm gonna give you, this could be the one that makes the biggest impact on your weight loss journey. And I say that very seriously. So it's gonna be difficult for a lot of you guys. And it's gonna be different for a lot of people. Because we tell you, you don't have to change your diet, you don't have to change your exercise, you don't have to change your daily routine to get results with Skinny Fiber and with our 90 day challenge. So you can continue doing everything you're doing and you will lose weight with this amazing product. Again, these challenges are just to help you enhance, maximize, increase your results even more. So this week's challenge is cutting down or cutting out completely bread from your diet. There are so many negative things in bread and that your body gets or happens to your body when you eat bread. First of all, it's very low on nutrients. You don't get a lot out of bread when you eat it. It has gluten in it, which for a lot of people is hard to process. It's hard for your immune system. Some people, that doesn't matter. It also is very high in carbohydrates. What that means is your blood sugar increases after you eat it, and then it takes a significant drop and that means you get hungry again. So actually, when eating bread, a lot of times you're gonna end up eating more than you otherwise would. A lot of other benefits to eating bread, it's gonna help your joints, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna not process as much fat uh, with your diet. So there's a lot of benefits. If you search why is bread bad for me, or what does getting rid of bread do for me, or how does that help me, you will find a ton of information. So this week, what I want you to do for your special extra little challenge, if you can, if you really want to go for it, you really want to maximize your results with this challenge, and as I said, this could be the biggest thing to really helping you get over that hump, helping you take your weight loss to the next level, and really helping you maximize your entire 90 day challenge. So if you're serious and you want to do it, I say cut out bread completely. Don't eat it. Get rid of it. If you want to eat it one or two days a week, try to get rid of it completely. That's the best option. Either way, try to cut down a little bit. Don't eat, you know, instead of a sandwich, put it on lettuce uh, or just eat the meat inside the sandwich. Just try to cut down a little bit, a little less pizza, a little less chips, snacks, uh, things like that that include bread or bread-like things. Uh, try to cut them out. The more you can cut out, the more you're going to feel better the better health benefits you're gonna get, 
the better you're gonna uh, work towards your weight loss goals and just the overall benefits are gonna be incredible. So this week's challenge, no bread, and if you wanna continue these challenges, as I encourage you to do, I cut out bread several months ago. My joints feel better, I feel healthier, I have more energy. It's just really an incredible thing what happens uh, when you really take advantage of these challenges that we're giving you here. So that's it. Have a great week, everyone. Congratulations again for making it to week four. You are past the 21 day mark. You can do it. You can, you've proven that you can do anything. Once you do it for 21 days, it's a new habit. You've gotten there. You're making it happen. Keep up the great work. Cut out the bread this week. Give you a new challenge next week. And I can't wait to see your stories, your before and after pictures, and all the weight that you're losing. So great job, guys. We'll see you next time.